The Japanese government announced on Friday its review of high school textbooks for next year, and unfortunately, history has been distorted yet again, with more false sovereignty claims, this time even stronger than before, on South Korea's easternmost Tokdo Island. Seoul immediately demanded rectification of the revisions. Kwon so starts us off. South Korea has sternly protested Japan's renewed and expansive claims that South Korea's easternmost island of Tokdo is Japanese territory. Seoul's foreign ministry summoned a Japanese minister from Tokyo's embassy in Seoul Friday to demand immediate repeal of its approval of textbook revisions. A panel reviewed public high school textbooks to be issued beginning April 2017. Out of 35 social studies textbooks, 27 refer to Tokdo as Takeshima, the Japanese name for Tokdo, and claim Korea is illegally occupying the island. That's around 77 percent and a sharp rise from the 54 percent of textbooks in 2013. Upon the announcements, Ho's foreign ministry denounced Tokyo's distorted historical view of the island, which, quote, historically, geographically, and by international law is clearly South Korean territory. The Japanese government must realize that teaching history accurately is its obligation to not only Japan's future generations, but also to neighboring countries that suffered from Japan's history of invasion. Similar words were echoed by Seoul's Education Ministry Friday, which cited the Japanese government's acknowledgement in 1877 that Tokdo does not belong to Japan. Seoul and Tokyo's recent landmark agreement on responsibility, apology and compensation of its wartime sexual slavery has not been included in the textbooks yet, as the revision process came prior to the deal, but is expected to be added after a review next year. However, verbiage in the textbooks this time seems to dismiss evidence of the Japanese military sexual enslavement of Korean women, raising concerns that further revisions will contain similar distortions of history. The government is urging Tokyo to squarely face history and show sincerity in its actions to open up a new chapter in South Korea-Japan relations. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.